The CEO of one of the world's leading Bitcoin exchanges, BitInstant, has been arrested in New York. The prosecution claims Charlie Shrem was involved in a drug money laundering scheme via the Silk Road website. Marty's Marina Portnoy has been following the story for us. This indictment, these charges uh, have come as quite a shock to anybody in the Bitcoin community, anybody that knows Charlie Shrem, a huge pioneer of, of the Bitcoin currency. Now, federal prosecutors are alleging that Charlie Shrem uh, has been, had been engaging in a scheme to sell over a million dollars in Bitcoins to users of the Silk Road website, which then subsequently enabled users uh, to buy and sell illegal drugs anonymously and be beyond the reach of law enforcement. Uh, investigators say that 24-year-old Shrem was conspiring with an underground Bitcoin exchanger, Robert Fayella, uh, who also was arrested. Prosecutors also uh, say that Shrem personally bought drugs on the Silk Road uh, website. If found guilty, he faces up to 30 years in prison. Now, I was reading a bit through the indictment. It's, it's really hard to separate here. Uh, what uh, they are alleging that Charlie Shrem did or what Charlie Shrem knew about and didn't report. It, it seems that, as just reading the indictment, that Charlie Shrem uh, was selling bitcoins through his bit instant. That may be three steps removed for him. Those coins were then possibly used to buy drugs, and then they're not, those bitcoins are now being co connected back to Charlie Shrem. Lots of questions, of course, are being raised. Um, a lot still isn't known, but we will find out, of course, in the coming hours and days. And you, Marina, have actually met Charlie Shrem, haven't you? I interviewed him. We, we did a story on the, the Bitcoin culture of the Big Apple, and I went to a, a lounge that he co-owns uh, in Manhattan. It, it's the first business that began accepting uh, Bitcoins. When I spoke to Charlie Shrem, he said he would rather have people pay in Bitcoins than use credit cards in his, uh, in his lounge bar restaurant. Uh, he said that Bitcoin is the currency of the future. It's something that he supports. It's something that he's promoting. But he's a very smart guy. It shocks me. To, to hear that he would be, you know, indicted on doing something uh, so illegal because he knows the laws. He's very clear on the laws. Uh, let's like let's let our viewers listen to what Shrem had to say back in June. First came into the Bitcoin space, um, I was the only person in New York City who had even heard of Bitcoin. I was left out of every VC firm in the city. Mm -hmm. um, and now, fast forward to two years, there are so many startups. There are startup meetups. Just finally, Marina, what is the attraction of Bitcoin? Why do people use it? Bitcoin is a monetary system free from government uh, or bank control and uh, credit card processing fees. Uh, uh, it essentially allows every user to have control over their own currency and it could be used anonymously. A lot of uh, people in the Bitcoin culture, a lot of users like the idea of having a currency that's not uh, monopolized by banks or controlled by the Federal Reserve. Well, earlier I talked to economist Jeffrey Tucker, who thinks Bitcoin could become a major game changer for global finance. Look, governments don't like innovations at all. They don't like light bulbs. They don't like cars. They don't like, yeah. Governments are terrible about innovations, but it's coming regardless. And yes, it does threaten national monetary systems. It's just a better technology. You can transfer it instantly. Real property between any two individuals in the world is weightless. It takes up no space. There's no transaction fees. It all happens in a matter of seconds instead of days and days and days with very high transaction fees. I mean, you know, the Bitcoin is, is uh, to, to money as, as a Maserati is to like a, 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 an early car from 1913 or something like that, a, a Ford Model A. I mean, you know, a, a Bitcoin has shown us what currency can be. It's, it, it can be a brilliant thing to bring humanity together instead of just a, a tool for, for governments and banking cartels to use and abuse. Financial analyst Mark Thornton thinks that actual legal issues have very little to do with this arrest. The U.S. dollar is actually the major facilitator of illegal transactions of drugs, uh, human trafficking, uh, all sorts of nasty businesses. Most of that trade is done with the U.S. dollar, not Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a small player. It has a small percentage of its uh, transactions are illegal. That's true. But the majority are for legal goods. Uh, whereas the U.S. dollar is the primary player 
in international trade in illicit items. But this was a political event, not a legal or judicial event, this arrest. It was a political event meant to intimidate people in the Bitcoin space, and it was a perfectly foreseeable event as well.